Hey Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today to share with you my designer's challenge for Coco Daisy for the month of August. This month it is a tic-tac-toe board. Um, you get to pick three in a row, either vertical, horizontal, or diagonal, and use those items on your project. And when you post your project, please remember to um, note which row you used. The center space is a free space, um, and so you can choose any item of your choosing on your project. I used the top horizontal row, which was a circular element, mixed media, and um, stitching. So you can see this circular element there. Um, that is a digital cut file from the Silhouette Studio. I think it may have had flowers on it and I deleted it. Actually, that's not true. That is a very old Coco Daisy subscriber exclusive. Um, I believe it came from Alyssa. Um, and my stitching is machine, machine stitching. You will see in the close-ups of the layout that I um, stitched around the circles as well with an off-white thread just for an added element there. So that is my circular element and my stitching. The mixed media you will not actually see me do on this um, process video because I added that after the fact, after the process was done. I have this tendency to either do my mixed media first thing or last, and usually if it's last, it um, falls off the end of the video because it comes as an afterthought. So I used some of the exclusive papers you saw as layers behind my photo. And I, you will see in the process of this video, spend a lot of time fussing with the placement of the elements that I that I wanted to use. I knew I wanted to use, you can see those other um, right there, the uh, fern die cuts, leaf die cuts, and I just couldn't make them fit around the circle in a pleasing element. So I will spend a lot of time shuffling these around. It's one of those things that you get fixated on in scrapbooking and can really hang you up on on the process and can be really frustrating um, but if you persevere it, it does pay off and you will find that you're very pleased with the results like this I felt like the elements there created an L on top of a circle which just looks funny um, so I needed a way to find to, to get these leaves ferns um, to wrap around the circle with that right angle that I had created there with the photo. Um, I used, the way that I adhered the pattern papers you may have seen earlier, I adhered them in such a way so that if I wanted to, I could have slid um, a tag or a, a card, a pull tab behind the pictures and slid my journaling in there. I really liked the tone on tone, the white and the off white with the, that pale yellow map as the background. And um, I knew I wasn't going to journal directly on this layout in order to preserve that tone on tone. So the because I had the the circular elements and I was trying to create this circular look, the right angle of all of those pictures really bothered me. The papers behind the picture bothered me. So you can see where I pulled it apart and sort of skewed things off a little bit, hoping that that would soften the corner of the picture and therefore soften what I was trying to accomplish here with these leaves. Um, so I knew those two birds were going to stay there and that I wanted to use that uh, ephemera piece from Fancy Pants that says fly high. Um, I just had to find a way to get all of these leaves wrapped into the circular elements that didn't look like a right angle. So you could see how I bent the leaf around the top. Um, and if I were smart, I would have thought to bend the leaves around the bottom as well. Um, but I think I finally found a configuration that I liked. And there were two green leaves in the ephemera pack as well. And I thought they added a nice little splash of color moving out from the white on white, tone on tone. So finally, I have found uh, a placement of things that I like. And those of you who follow me know that I... Um, I, I pull all of the color elements from the color scheme that I'm working with. And so I am just sorting through all those various elements that come from either the Coco Daisy exclusives, the print and cut files, and or the ephemera. And I'm trying to find homes um, for them. 
So I have that tag up there and uh, that's actually a print and cut file and so I just ripped a piece of the dark paper because I felt like I needed something up top to create that visual triangle that I like to put on my page and that darkness moves from the top of the page down to the picture over to that bird on the right hand side and draws your eye across the page that way. So I just ripped that paper and I will go in and I will insert that later. So I've found the placement of all the things that I like and now I want a string bundle um, to put behind each of the birds. So I literally just whacked thread around my fingers and kind of squash it up a little bit to then stick um, that underneath the bird. But I need to stick these elements down first. So I just use my Prima glue pen um, and stick these down so that they sort of wrap around that other digital cut file that I've got there. There are scores in these leaves um, and so you can create a bit of dimension with them which I really like. Uh, I may end up putting this particular layout in a frame um, just because I do have so the, the scores in that and when when those elements are flat on a page they look fine uh, but they look much better when they do have the the looseness to the leaves and the the scoring um, as well in those leaves so this may end up being in a frame in my scrapbook room um, so I just use my Teresa Collins glue thingy to put some glue behind that and stick that down and then as always you have to rearrange the elements that get shifted um, but I have having shuffled them around for so long a much better idea of how they're going to end up um, and I did use uh, some scotch foam adhesive behind this first bird just to pop him off with the thread again to add to the movement and the dimension that I've created on the pages with those leaves uh, and pop that down. I had to shift him over a little bit because I didn't want him falling off the edge of the page and again using my Prima pen to just create some put those leaves down and I didn't put adhesive all the way it's just on the, the back end of those uh, ephemera pieces from Fancy Pants um, again to add to the dimension on the page and the weight of that fly high because it's navy needed to go underneath her and not over to the right where I had originally thought that it would go. Um, I have a lot of dark on the left hand side of the picture and a lot of light on the right hand side of the picture so I needed to for, for balance to keep the weight on the left hand side of the picture which is why you've got that darker bird to the left as well as the banner underneath my daughter. So that is really uh, the bulk of the page. I am going to create another thread bundle here. Um, not a very technical term, but it's what it is, a bundle of thread, a wad of thread. <laughs> um, and I just like, it, it's almost, it makes me think of um, the dove in uh, the Noah's Ark story who comes back with um, a piece of, of greenery and uh, I don't know there's something symbolic to that to this uh, story this picture is my daughter it, with her new pair of glasses um, and the angle of the picture was taken in order to just uh, show off those new glasses and I do talk about that um, in some hidden journaling that is in that pocket there where they remember this tag is and so that will uh, pretty much call it done. So don't forget that this is a um, challenge for Coco Daisy. This is the d challenge that I hosted this month um, and we would love to have you link up on Facebook. I will put the information down below where you can link that and or uh, to the blog post. The blog is working um, these days and uh, I would love to see you play along. You do not have to have Coco Daisy kits to play and we would love to have you join us. Thanks for stopping in today.
today. I hope you enjoyed this process and would love to see you participate in this fun challenge this month. If you have any questions, again, please don't hesitate to ask in the space down below. Thanks so much for joining me today. Take care.